Okay. Here's how you can change backgrounds in Scratch. You already know that when you double click on any of the sprites, you'll get the menu of the actions that have been made, that have been um, created for that sprite. Anything you click on, just like most every program using a computer, selects that item and allows you to make changes to it. So let's start with the background. When I double click on the background, you can see that I can see the scripts for this. I'll talk more about that in just a minute. But when I select, collect, when I select the uh, tab called backgrounds, you can see that I have two of them. I can have as many as I want. Under the scripts, broadcasting is the best way to, for you to change backgrounds. Broadcasting. That means when one of these little dudes says something, the background will receive that signal and that makes the change. I'll show you how I did that. Take that out of here. When I receive, I created, I started with when I receive, and then I went to motions, I'm sorry, I went to looks, and simply put in switch to background one, or switch to Let's just make it simple. Switch to next background because I'm going to have it running forever in just a minute. The run forever command comes over here on these guys. Okay, so I've selected the cat. When the green arrow is selected or clicked, he waits for three seconds. And he'll broadcast. He doesn't actually say anything, but he broadcasts to the program. Remember, this is a programming language, so you're telling the computer what you want it to do. And you're going to broadcast or send a signal out to the rest of the, the um, items in this uh, program that you want a background change. You can have it wait as many seconds as you want. So that takes care of the cat. Other than that, he doesn't have any motion. If I want to put some motion in for him, I can do that. Let's just try that. Throw that in there. You already know how to do motion. You're getting the hang of it anyway. Okay, and let's go to this little yellow dude, the banana man. So, as you saw in the first video, the way that I put together these movements as I just selected where I wanted him to go. I'm going to take this one out. I wanted him to start here. So when I double click there, watch the glide to X and Y axis. And you'll see that it automatically changes. So he's going to start at minus 205, minus 116. He's going to glide to, he's going to glide for one second to X183, Minus 124. This should probably be 116 also because you want him to stay at the same horizontal line. Let's put it up here. Click the green arrow. The cat is going to change 15 degrees. He's going to rotate 15 degrees every five seconds, it looks like. So while this is running, I can go back to my stage, or I can select the cat, rather, and I can change the seconds. If I want to try it for zero seconds, then the backgrounds are going to change really fast, like so fast that you don't even see it. It's, it's changing right now, but you can't see it. So make sure that you, you keep some seconds in there. Those number, That number of seconds is dependent on what it is your, your scene is doing. So if it's changing too soon, you can bump up the seconds. Simple enough. I'll save this project 
in the samples folder on the student drive. I'll save this project in the samples folder so you can have a look at it. On the H drive, Mr. Boffus, 6th grade scratch project. 6th grade scratch project. I'm going to make a new folder in there and call it samples. Yeah. Samples. Put it in there. Give it a name. Changing backgrounds. There you go. You can go check it out, make some changes yourself, and you're on your own.